United States. Uh, it's a great pleasure for me to be here today. Uh, and thank you for the platform, Mr. Prime Minister, Your Excellence. Uh, it has been too long I've been in Armenia. Last time was in 2008. And, uh, and many things happened since you know, the time in 2006 when we decided to create an office of Microsoft in Armenia. When we created the office in Armenia, there was a kind of, let's say, a bold vision that this country can have a far bigger future and impact, not only, in fact, in Armenia, in the region, but at the world level. And we started, you know, a lot of partnership with the government of Armenia since then. Uh, and when I look, I look back at what I've achieved, you know, in the last nine years, almost 10 years, it's quite impressive. And uh, among the, the few accomplishments that I would like to, to reinforce is that you know, we, uh, we created a, a Microsoft Innovation Center in 2011, and that was a key, key catalyst for us in terms of the relationship between what could be a public-private partnership between industry, you know, player like Microsoft and the government of Armenia. Since then, we, uh, we have been, uh, we have been uh, creating 2,500, let's say, students training in modern application environment every single year more than 4,500 now since the last few years. We, uh, we, uh, we have been able to engage with startup, more than 200 startups, and enabling them to be, uh, to access to the business. And we raised, you know, helped raise the funding of more than $2 million already. Uh, all these things happen with partnership, with the, the State Engineering University of Armenia, USAD, the government of Armenia. And uh, it's great to see, in fact, the momentum coming here. A few months ago, in May 2015, we came back and we, uh, we extended, in fact, this, uh, this partnership with the government to new horizon. And the key focus areas for us are critical for the future of Armenia, especially in the IT sector. Uh, the few focus areas are, of course, education. Education is the key foundation of the success in this world. And I know how much Armenian families and parents and government cares so much about the future of their kids. This is the number one priority that we are going to contribute a huge you know, school agreement you know, that has been signed a few months ago. Innovation in the cloud and in the mobile space, also the second component of the key investment that we do here, because the future is digital. 80% of the businesses today in the world think that by 2020, the world is going to be digital. Actually, digital is not enabling the business anymore, it's the business. Think about, let's say, any car manufacturer today. There's no one car manufacturer today that can think about creating a new car with no internet connectivity inside the car. Think about it. Five years ago, four years ago, it was not at all the case. This world is changing. The way people work is changing. And there's a tremendous opportunity here in Armenia to make the link between the amazing talents that we have, especially on the IN engineering, high science, let's say, education, and how this talent pool can create impact, not only in the country, but you know, broader in the Euro-Asian Union, especially, which I know is very, very important from a success perspective for the future. And uh, the third topic area that you know, we have started to work big time for the last nine years, actually, but this is going to be critical, because the worst thing that can happen to a country like Armenia is to have a brain drain. The talents leave the country. In order to keep the balance in the country and to create jobs and employment and prosperity and competitiveness, the only one thing that you need to know, and that has been my number one focus for the last nine years, is to make sure that there's an intellectual property right protection. Nine years ago, there was almost no laws protecting IP in the country. Today, there's a law. And we need to enforce it so that, in fact, it creates the right behavior. I'm very proud to say that it started with the government. The government decided to show exemplarity and decided to show the, the, the private sector that every software, piece of software that is used, you know, is genuine, legal. And that's now, in fact, the great, let's say, direction for us to take with a large corporation in the country to make sure that you know, they are paying what they are using. Because the young generation, the startup, the talents who are going to innovate in the country, they want to have their IP protected so that, in fact, they can create the jobs that are necessary for the future. And the one thing which is beautiful with the digital space is that it's not because small, you are small, a small company, a small country, that you can big, think big. Actually, it's just the opposite. We see, you know, I'm running the worldwide organization of Microsoft in terms of small, mid-market mid companies and the whole partner ecosystem of Microsoft, and we see an amazing shift 
between, in fact, the companies who are nimble, small, agile, and who think the market is not their country anymore, but the world. And that's what, in fact, we want to enable here with the IT technology and make Armenia a very, very strong, world-class IT hub for the future. Thank you very much.